Okay, let me make a little adjustment here before I start. This is going to take some getting used to. Okay, everybody. Um, decided to make a very impromptu video. And that's because um, I got two pieces of mail today. The first one that I received was a package from one of my good friends, a really nice person in the vinyl community. That's Ellie, otherwise known as Mr. Ellie, Mr. Ellie Records from Israel. And he sent me a package. I knew something was coming because he had sent me a notification asking me uh, if he could send me a postcard and uh, for the holidays. And I said, yeah, sure, postcard. Yeah, right, Ellie. You, you, you can't fool me. I know it's going to be something bigger than that. And uh, I saw a, a video that Tim Allen posted where he got a package from Mr. Ellie. So... Um, I said, I'm probably going to get some records or something like that. I hope I do anyway. Not that a postcard wouldn't have been nice too. But I was hoping for the best and the most. So, But then as I was uh, preparing to start the video, another package came later. I didn't anticipate this one. This is something that I ordered. I ordered two things. Don't know which one which one of the two this is. So I'm going to do two openings here, which is something a little different. I'm going to start by opening mine first, and then I'm going to save the big surprise of Ellie's to, to later. And this is all going to be live, and let, let's see what happens here, okay? This is first my package. As I say, it it's, uh, can only be one of two. There's certain types of uh, albums that have to be ordered online because you know certain albums are hard to find anywhere in the wild and although I always prefer the thrill of the physical hunt myself it's nice when you sometimes get a thrill being able to order it online I see what it is uh, it's something I've wanted for a long long time and there it is. Anybody know what it is already? Some Beatle fans will. Uh, it is finally, finally the vinyl copy for me of George Harrison's Live in Japan album. It's a 1992 release of his 1991 concert that he did with Eric Clapton. Uh, I believe it's a German copy. It's very hard to find and it goes for astronomical prices which is why I've never had it before and even this copy is not a not a brand new copy this is used and I have to say I'm very satisfied with it just by looking at it so far George Harrison live in Japan uh, it's a two record set Right, and I thought it was a gatefold, but I guess not. And I'll show this in my next Beetle update whenever I get around to it more officially. So that was good. I know what the other one is. There's another album coming that has to do with the Beatles. I'm not going to say what it is. <laughs> when it comes, I'll talk about it. Um, and I'm not going to edit out the train. As I make this, it's really uh, rush hour right now so the trains are coming very often sometimes they're, they're one an hour and sometimes they're one every five minutes so okay now on to the VCLT and some people still may not know what VCLT stands for I didn't know when I first joined the vinyl community VCLT stands for something called vinyl community love train and that's where people give each other gifts very uh, kind-heartedly I've given some VCLT in my life, and I've re received some in my life now. This comes all the way from Israel, so I want to be careful. I always use these X-Acto knives, which uh, my girlfriend has because she's into crafting and artwork, and I don't want to damage anything, so I'm going to try to be very careful here. That's the only drawback to making videos. If you're not a good talker in between things like this, it's very boring for the person watching, right? And still may be worrying, but hey, that's what the skip ahead function is for if you want. Those who like the tension can continue watching. Okay, so we're almost there. Oh. 
Okay, here we go, Mr. Ellie. Let's see what we've got here. Could be anything. Could be anything. Would that be funny if it was a live in Japan album from George Harrison? Oh, I see the top one already. And uh, I think this was... Might have been something that was given. Uh, I'm talking to myself here. I get excited. We'll start with the records first. I don't even know what's on the bottom. This is the first one. Beautiful copy of Elvis Presley. 50 million Elvis fans. Can't be wrong. And animal tracks. Oh, it's the animals. Let's see which one it is here. I like the animals. Very big fan uh, of the, the hits. But I don't know everything here. Uh, a couple of these songs I know by other artists. But uh, what a cool cover, too. And this is Columbia EMI, um, which means that it is a UK album. I notice it here on the Fame label. And I thank you so much for that, Ellie. Uh, I think I got some more in here. I don't know if it's just another album or if it's backing. Because I think, if my memory serves, I think Tim Allen got this album too. Or am I thinking of somebody else? Um, oh, there's more in here, my God. Oh, wait a minute. Here's an album that I don't have. And it's pretty appropriate. You want to know what it is? Take a guess. Carpenters, Ticket to Ride. And it's not a U.S. copy. Oh, man, I wish I was prepared because I can't see where the heck it's from. It looks like... It, is this an Israeli copy? Ta-da! Yeah, well, look at that. I'll be done. I should have been tipped off by the cover being flimsy. There's nothing like having... See that there? There's nothing like having a, a different kind of what I call foreign release. And uh, this is really a, a welcome surprise, and thanks so much. And you know, it, it always it always means so much when it's from somebody that you're friends with. And as if that wasn't enough, my God, I thought I thought this might have been used for backing. Sometimes you put phony album covers in there just as a backing. It's Elton John, and I'm a big Elton John fan. There's no problem there. Um, album was recorded live. I didn't, oh, it's the live album, right, 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 but it's also an import, import, export, I'm all mixed up, I'll get excited, and that's how it is, sorry folks, oh man, I don't know where it is, Ellie, you're going to have to tell me, only because I'm not prepared, and I can't see very well, getting getting older, I'm looking, not looking into the lens either, here, um, dang, where is this from, I don't want people to have to wait around so much, uh, I just can't, just can't see it. It looks bright on the video, but it's not that bright in here, believe me. Uh, well, it is an import, so I'll find out what it is and uh, where it's from, and uh, Ellie can tell me if if he finds if he comes across the video first before I get a chance to add add it to the captions. All right, uh, now we got more. It doesn't end there. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't want to bend down out of sight. No, no, no. I had to bend down out of sight. There's more stuff here. The Total Experience. Beatles City. The world's first permanent, permanent Beatles exhibition. How to get to Beatles City. Directions on the back. For Lumpum, Liverpool. Nice. Thank you, Ellie. And more. You think that's the end? No. Oh, this is just a beautiful... Look at this. City Walks presents The Beatles London. Follow the long and winding road to Abbey Road and much more. Beatles Walk. Oh. More from England. And... This is, look at this, a Tower Records ad. 
What did it feel like to change the world? It's the Beatles Anthology, right? Beatles Anthology 1. Find out at midnight, Monday the 20th, at Tower Records, what it was like to change the world. I remember what a, what a big, big event it was when this came out. and People were waiting there at midnight to get it. I seem to remember going there late. I don't know if it was at midnight. But I seem to remember a late, a late night thing. Very, very cool. Thank you so much. This is like great stuff for my uh, collection to put in my folders or on the wall here. Oh boy, what is this now? John Paul George Ringo, the Anthology of the Beatles Records by Alex Bagaro. First edition, November 07. More at the Fab Four. And see the back. Anthology. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. It makes a Beatles fan drool. Just beautiful pictures. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Ellie, really, I mean, you know, one, one record would have been enough to have all of these records plus these extra little bits of memorabilia. And I don't want to leave this out. So we're going to peruse this for a second. Ah, he did send me a card. He wasn't kidding. Happy New Year. Now, perhaps I should have read this first. Okay. Dear Joe, here is a VCLT taken for the holiday season. On the greeting card, there's a photo of uh, the Never Stops City skyline of my hometown, Tel Aviv. Okay. I, I live on its suburbs. Then now it tells you, isn't this funny? If I would have read this first, it would have been... In a way, it's funny that we got this at the end. First, we have Elvis album from U.S., The Animals, U.K., uh, The Carpenters from Israel, and Elton John was also from Israel. <laughs> okay, on paper. It tells you what everything is now. The Beatles City, Liverpool, 1983. Beatles Anthology 1, London Piccadilly Circus from Tower Records. The Beatles, uh, the Beatles, I can't really read it, is it, uh, it's the City Walk, the Beatles, um, the Anthology of the Beatles, record by, uh, etc., from Israel, promo paper, I hope you'll like it, I don't like it, Elliot, I love it, best regards, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year, always your friend, Ellie, and on that note, I'm gonna say, uh, it sounds like it's just, something that we have to say but I really mean it Ellie has an amazing record collection not just the Beatles but other people as well he collects a lot of people and for Beatle fans is mainly what I have on my channel the most of you got to check it out Mr. Ellie Records that's E-L-I I know I, people think it's Eli but when you hear him speak he says his name is Ellie so that's why I'm calling him Ellie M-R Mr. E-L-I Records. Mr. Ellie Records. Check out his website. He hasn't made as many videos uh, lately as he used to do, but I am just really, really in awe of this stuff, and uh, you're a good friend, Ellie. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. Appreciate it.